been a year now since that morning when the women found the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. The Jewish leaders are still trying to figure out some explanation for it. He stayed with us 40 days, appearing to hundreds of people. It was during that time that I spoke with him and found forgiveness. After he promised to send us his spirit, we watched him ascend into heaven. Then ten days later, his promise was fulfilled, and it shook Jerusalem from top to bottom. The number of believers has been growing every day, and with this growth has come persecution. But Jesus told us that would happen. I decided to give up being a secret disciple, and I openly proclaimed my faith in him. I lost my wealth and my position in the Sanhedrin, and I've been banished from Jerusalem. When I think back on it all now, I have to smile. I thought I was an expert in religion, but I was unprepared for the Messiah. Therefore, I almost didn't recognize him when he came, but I'm ready for him now, and I won't miss him the next time he comes. I'll know him the moment I see him. He won't surprise me this time, and I'll go running out to meet him with arms open wide. Darkness around me, sorrow surrounds me, and though there be trials, still I can sing, for I have this treasure, my God reigns within me. And I am determined to live for the King. I am determined to be invincible till He has finished His purpose in me. Nothing shall shake me, for he'll never forsake me. I am determined to live for the King. Hell's gates are trembling. From saints' prayers ascending, darkness is crumbling. From praises we sing, our sovereign victory. 